good evening, good afternoon, good morning from wherever you're watching the live stream for today. Now, it's a wonderful time to have Speed, Speedy Grace fans on the channel again. He has been a regular visitor to the channel and his teaching has been educative and impactful. We've gotten comments, we've gotten questions from patients, and we, they have been guided on the proper steps to take in the whole coffee farm business. Now, most times, if you've gone through my channel and you watch some of the videos I do, I always call it the cartridge farming business. I don't just say cartridge farming. Now, because I understand that now it's a business, not just a farming. Not just what we do before. People just go into maybe a farming and they farm for their stomach and their maybe immediate family. But now, the narrative has been changing. A lot of persons are going into the whole farming with the business mentality. And in every business, profit is what we expect to get out from the business. Now, if you're in a business and that business is not giving up profit, then you should look for other alternatives or you should have to eject out of that business. So, there has been a present challenge across so many farmers. Now, this challenge does not only bother us within the farmers in Nigeria, now it cuts across farmers in different areas, especially in Africa. I've seen comments from people in Kenya, Angola, Ghana, and they have been on how to cut down the cost of production. Like we've always said, the cost of feeding takes close to 80 or 90 percent of your running cost anytime you want to feed your fishes in a per cycle. And if the cost of feeding are high, rest assured your cost of production will also be high. And the market have not adjusted to the increase in price in terms of sales. So how do you cut down on the cost to meet with the normal price they buy in the market? That means you have to reduce your cost of production. Since feeding is one of the avenues you spend more, then reducing the cost of feeding is very essential. So in this uh, video to this evening, uh, Speedy Grace Farms, which is into the feed production, we have been an expert in this uh, line for a very long time. With years of experience, we're going to be guiding us on how to cut costs around the cattle farming business. How can you start producing your feed as a cattle farmer to save costs? Now, how do you get this raw material, which is also a present challenge for some person? I want to produce my feed. How do I source this raw material? And again, the, how are these raw materials? What are the ingredients needed? Now, for a person might be like, okay, I want to produce a feed. What and what is needed to produce a quality feed? Someone can wake up one morning and just take garlic and eat. If you continue taking garlic for a long time, yes, although you are taking food, but that food is not balanced enough for your healthy growth. So that means there are necessary ingredients or necessary things that should be in this food you want to eat to make it suitable, to make it okay for anyone or for the fishes to eat. So in this channel, I'm going to give you another breakdown of the different classes of the raw material sources, the different alternatives. Somebody can be like, I... But when I post share the adverts for this live stream on the group, and they are majorly people from Ghana, now they are like, how can we uh, learn from this? Since we are talking locally, is it just for Nigerians? I said no. Now, when you talk about alternatives, you might have some raw materials in essence in Nigeria. Now, why those materials are scarce in maybe Ghana, and then you have some other materials in Ghana that are in SS. Now, if you know the alternatives to use, okay, if you replace this and put this, it will also work. So that is all what Speedy Grace is going to be giving us in this channel today. So sit back, relax, as we invite him. So we will just do a brief introduction about the sales, his business, and we'll hit straight to the lecture for the, this evening. So Mr. Speedy Grace, welcome once again. Good evening. Thank you so much. Can you hear me, please? Yeah, I can hear you. Thank you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody, wherever you're watching from all around the world. I'm very excited to be reaching you live in your home, your office, your business place, your school, wherever you're watching us from. Thank you so much, Mr. Kenneth Farm Enterprise, for having me this evening. I'm Speedy Grace, and um, we run Speedy Grace Farms and other businesses under Speedy Grace. And this is about um, this is 18 years of us being in the industry. We're also involved in agriculture and aquaculture value chain. Um, we train people. We're involved in capacity building. We're involved in setting up farms, construction of farms, 
and um, supply of machines, feed ingredients, and we also supply tapolin ponds. And so we are involved in so many things in agriculture and aquaculture. We, su we supply day old chicks, uh, poultry feed, fish feed, and what have you. We supply to all parts of the country. And um, I'm doing this not, not as business, not as what I studied in school, but with so much excitement. Like we, we lost Can you hear me, please? Yeah, I can hear you now. We lost you a bit. Maybe the network. Hey, can go on. We are with you. All you right. Thank you me. so much. Sorry about the um, poor reception. Sorry about the poor reception. So I'm involved in um, um, aquaculture and agricultural value chain activities. And like I was saying before, the reception gave a bad um, 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 take on. I'm not doing this because of um, any other thing, but because of the passion I have. And I love to communicate this passion to people and translate this into profession. So my passion has become my profession because it is what I enjoy I don't see there's anything, and that's why I can come out easily to tell anybody and everybody how it is easy to become successful in this industry. So once again, thank you so much, Mr. Kenneth, for having me this evening here in Nigeria. All right, so we're talking about how to source for local or raw materials, well, local raw materials for the formulation of your fish feed. Well, like Mr. Kenneth um, said while he was um, carrying out the introduction, it is very, very true that a major challenge in the aquaculture industry today is feed. A lot of people have their land. A lot of people have the borehole. They have different sources of water. Okay, we love the guest due to poor reception and surely you're going to be joining us back. So for those joining us in the live stream, you're just joining now. Yes, you could like, you could share, and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. You can, you can go to, we have other videos that have been done, that surrounds or that borders around the whole area of aquaculture. Now, before the guest comes back, maybe we've got a network. Now, the topic today is how to source locally materials. Okay, we have him. Okay, we, could, we can proceed. Sorry for the break in traffic. It's not a problem. So a lot of people have their farms. In fact, so many people have invested into landed property that they eventually converted into farms. They have different sources of water. Stream, dam, borehole, well, and what have you, different sources of water. 
a lot of people have invested into security of the environment. But then we discover these days that so many people are closing down, they're shutting down their farms. We just hope that there will not be shortage of fish supply. Of course, they, we, we've seen the traces of shortages of fish supply. And this is um, causing the, the rise in the price of fish. Uh, fish is getting expensive. Apart from the environmental conditions and factors that is making fish expensive, one of the things that also makes it expensive is non-availability, scarcity. A lot of farms are folding up. Lots of farms are closing up. When you get to meet someone today who is into farming big time, next year you hear that person is no longer in it. Why? You discover that the person invested one million naira to, to feed his or her fishes, and at the end of harvest, when they sold, they didn't make up to 300,000 naira. Not as profits. They couldn't get their capital back. Wow. You know, so why? Then there are also another set of people that they invested one million. They fed their fish. They harvested. They made a, a profit of maybe five or 10 percent or 20 percent from the investment on getting to the market to get feed that they will restock to carry out another production um, cycle. You dis they discover that the money they have cannot not run the next cycle yeah. because feed had the feed has become more expensive Okay, sorry for the break in transmission. Our guest, Mr. Speedy Grace, will be joining us shortly in the live stream. So he's just having a little bit of network reception, poor network reception on his own end. So let's sit back as we proceed. Back shortly, let's just inside of the patients as we try to identify the next one. So, for those joining us, you're still on the live stream on the raw materials, how to source your raw materials to see production and accomplishment business. So, the guest comes to the network of these and which we're going to be identified shortly.
So welcome back. Okay, we are live now. Yeah, can you hear me, please? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So, um, like I was saying, so please, so sorry for the transmission, breaking transmission. So there are a lot of challenges in the industry, especially with price. And the good thing is that um, it is not an end to itself. There's a way out. Yes. There's a good way out. There's a very good way out. That is why this lecture this afternoon is coming to you. Firstly, we can source our raw materials locally. You can get them from where you are. But the first thing I always tell people, don't forget this. Stock according to your capacity. Stock what you can be able to feed. A lot of people get into trouble by asking how much is fingerlings. How much is post fingerless? How much is juveniles? When they say, oh, juveniles is 15 air, juveniles is 14 air. Oh, 14 air, give me 10,000 pieces. 40,000, small money. And maybe after collecting uh, 10,000 pieces, your capacity is to be able to feed 2,000 pieces. Yeah. That's also a problem. You will not be able to feed the fish. You will not be able to care for the fish. And then at the end, you discover you run into loss. So it's easy to source for your raw materials locally. And then you need to know what your fish needs. Yeah. Understanding fish needs is very important. You should know when your fish needs protein. You should know when to have enough amino acid in your feed. You should know when your fish needs carbohydrates. You should know these things. They are very important. Even vitamins. One of the last sessions we have, we talked about different classes of food and how they are important to feed formulation. If you have the opportunity, go to, towards that video. Um, go to that video and check it again. It's very important. So you need to know and understand your fish. All right, so firstly, before I delve into this, we have the local fish feed and we have the imported fish feed. The locally made fish feed, they are the feed you produce locally 
from either an extruder or a pelletizing machine, either the one you have uh, in your house or you take to a feed meal for them to make for you. The local feed, feed, fish feed is the one you formulate yourself, the one you produce yourself. Meanwhile, the imported ones are the ones that are ready made and bagged from companies. They are ready made, they are bagged. Hello. Yeah. What's what happening to the reception? It's just a bit poor this evening. So from right. my own end, I'm still connected. So the the uh, all right. So the the important. The imported feed, you know, the mistake a lot of people make, thank God for um, the companies that have um, saved Nigeria, because I will, I will really say they saved Nigeria by coming to Nigeria with their machines, they set up their machines to save us. So I'm trying to tell you the difference between the local feed and the foreign feed. The feed we call foreign feed, a lot of them are produced in Nigeria. What does it communicate? It, the raw materials are available in Nigeria. Thank God for Olam. Thank God for Scratching. These companies produce quality feed. Thank God for Vital. Thank God for Ala Aqua. Ala Aqua still imports. But yeah. these other companies they produce their feed in Nigeria. So don't think they are foreign feed as it were. We call them foreign feed because their quality and presentation is better than what local feed looks like. The appearance, the texture, then the result base is different from what local feed offers. You know, and, and we need to get this clear that if these companies are thriving in Nigeria and they are doing well, they are well positioned. With some of the companies are located in or your states, Ibadan. Some are located in Onitsha, Anambra State. Some are located in Kaduna. Some are located in um, Ilorin Kwara State. So these local materials are available. The raw materials are available.
<laughs> they welcome back. Thank you. So that's the difference between the um look the import that imports the other other um fish feed that you know from reputable companies are produced. Now, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to communicate to you that the raw materials with which they used to produce this feed are available in the country. They are available. You can sell. All right. All right, thank you again. Okay, so um, you you now know the difference between the foreign and local feed. Another thing you need to know again that differentiates the foreign and local feed are the machines. The machines used um, for the foreign feed. Of course, it, these machines can also be fabricated in Nigeria. But for you to get the quality and the standard of what makes a feed foreign, standard foreign, quote and unquote, is the material you use, which I'll be communicating with us. The material you use for production, they are very vital. You can't tell me, like a lot of people do, um, they look for belly, um, brewery with barley. Uh, they say it's a, it's a good source of protein or good source of energy and you want to you want to include it it will give a lot of chaff and the the fineness of your material will not be there i can go on
Okay, we we are back to so the live stream. So I was sincere apology for the network issues. Now these issues most times are beyond Please we sincerely our... apologize for the yeah. uh... most times are beyond our immediate control. So but we guess as we proceed the network will be a bit fairer as we proceed. So we can go on. You can proceed. Okay, you can proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kedens. Apologies, everybody, once again, please. So, the, 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 thank you. The raw materials are available for these companies to thrive and to do well, it is to tell you that raw materials is not a problem in the country. Because a lot of people have asked the question, a lot of people have asked the Okay, like we said earlier, we are sincerely apologizing for the network issues. Now, this class or this lecture is very important to a whole lot. Now, we will see that a lot of persons that are online that are still Can you hear me? Waiting. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm still waiting, coupled with the network issues. So, we'll proceed now and hopefully the network will be fair to us. So, thank you for your time and thank you for staying with us. So, we can go on, sir. Yeah, proceed. Can you hear me, please? Yeah, you could proceed. Sir. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Yes. Is that finished? 
Ừ. Okay, so everyone, thank you for joining the live stream today. So we had a whole lot package for the live stream for So welcome back. So Speedy will be joining us once again and we'll give it a try. If the network continues with the hitches, we'll have to pick a different time and schedule the live stream. So let's bring him online again. Okay, you can proceed. So, so if you could hear me, we are rescheduling the live stream and the new date will be communicated to everyone due to the network issues we have. So thank you everyone for joining. So we'll communicate the date or the time that we'll rescheduled the next live stream. 